What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from WifiEntrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Washington, D.C. I'm super excited. Just posted a new blog post online about how to create a brand name. I want to talk with you guys about it. Also catch you guys up with what's been going on. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking this out, this is on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Hey, make sure you subscribe into our social channels. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit so that you can make money online. Like I said in the opener, I just finished this brand new blog post. I'm excited about it. It seems to already be getting a lot of traction, and that's how to create a brand name. Uh, if you guys know, I, I, I'm all about the brand. I'm 100% about the brand. Are you creating a brand for your business before going out there and really launching your online business is extremely important because of the fact that you know Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all those social channels I talked about, I talked about earlier, I mentioned earlier, they may go away at any given time. You remember MySpace, right? I mean, it was here one day, it was gone tomorrow. If you create your entire uh, social platform uh, create your entire message just on a social platform that can go away at any time. You're really leaving your uh, financial uh, success in someone else's hands. So you want to take it out of their hands and put it into your hands. You want to be the MySpace. You want to, not really, you don't want to be gone tomorrow, but you want to be the Facebook. You want to be the Twitter. You want that to be your brand that people identify and recognize as what it offers uh, when you mention those names. So is it really important that you create a brand for yourself? For one, I'm pretty sure I did a blog about it a while ago if you haven't seen it, I'll make sure I throw a link below but more importantly uh, you really want to make sure that you create a brand but when you begin to create your brand uh, we have information in our free online training center that'll help you walk through the process of creating your online brand but uh, what I want to share with you today is really uh, some thought processes that you may want to consider when thinking about how you're going to create your brand so for one, uh, one of the things that I did when creating Wi-Fi Entrepreneur was really draw in what I uh, thought that my message was going to be about. Uh, I'm consider myself an entrepreneur. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, video you're probably, you probably consider yourself an entrepreneur as well. And uh, one of the things that I really wanted to do was talk a little bit more about how you can make money online. So that's why the Wi-Fi came in, in, in play. So you have the online entrepreneur. So um, that's how I came up with uh, Wi-Fi Entrepreneur. It's always been a passion of mine to help people make money. Uh, when I really saw the boom of the internet and how uh, financial, how people are fi finding financial independence through uh, being on the internet, I really gravitated to that and gravitated to that message to help people uh, achieve that goal. So that's why I created Wi-Fi Entrepreneur and the brand and as and the company and everything that follows. But when you are thinking about your business and your brand, you wanna ask yourself that same exact question. What does this name mean to my business? How does this name identify who, what I stand for, or what, I, what I'm about, you know? Uh, you wanna think about that when creating your brand. Oftentimes, you may see a lot of people who have brands that's geared behind their names, like Grant Cardone. You may see another one like Gary V. All these people use their name as recognition because they've already created value in the marketplace. They already are making millions, you know, and their name now has weight. And in your community of influence, your name may also have weight. So consider using your name as well is a possibility to some of you guys, but not necessarily all of you guys. But if you do the system correctly, if you go through the process, create a wonderful brand name and at the community that you're uh, seeking to uh, have influence in, once you start to make an impact there, then you can begin to create a new brand that's geared directly with your name as the recognition factor uh, in it. So uh, you want to make sure that whatever you're doing, the name is important to, rec to recognize what it is you stand for. So 
the first name will recognize what the business stands for. Uh, the second time, it, it will offer you as the name, so then it, rec it recognize people know what you now stand for. Uh, so that, that's how I, I like to see that. You so. want to also make sure that your name is future-proof. And what do we mean by future proof? We mean you don't want to have a name brand that can go away tomorrow. Like, for instance, uh, if you think of Wi Fi Entrepreneur as the brand, if Wi Fi, if we ever got rid of all the Wi Fi, then I may begin to lose that social dynamic that I once had with this brand. So uh, I consider Wi Fi being something that's going to stick at least as long as I'm alive and uh, probably as long as my kids are alive. But after that, you know, who knows what happens. Um, but when we talk about that secondary brand, your name is going to be around for, for, for as long as you're around as well, at least. And for people like Jim Rome, Les Brown, these names are going to last forever. Jim, Jim, Jim Rome has been gone now for a while from this earth, but his name, if you were to search his name, his brand, you're gonna, you know what you're going to get out of that information once you go seek that name online. So. Uh, that's pretty powerful, okay? Also, one of the things I did when creating WaffleEntrepreneur.com is make sure that it was available, one, in uh, in the URL world, you know, whether or not you're using GoDaddy or Site Rubix or what have you to create your domain name. You want to make sure that domain name is available. You don't want to have a uh, Wi-Fi Entrepreneur be your brand, but you're sending people to Polkadots.com. That's not really going to work. You want to make sure that wifientrepreneur.com is available so uh, whatever your brand that you come up with you want to make sure that it's available on the website so or available for purchase and then if you see it buy it uh, I've, I've been known to buy multiple brand names uh, multiple business ideas you know as soon as I have the idea I want to make sure it's available on GoDaddy buy the domain name so then I can lock in that brand because ha who he who has that that URL owns that brand and, and has the ability to do whatever uh, they want with that. So you want to make sure that it's available there uh, first, okay? Next, you want to make sure that it's available on the social media channels, you know, uh, Instagram. You want people to go to Wi-Fi Entrepreneurs Instagram. You don't want them to go to pickashoe.com, I don't know, you know, something other than the brand, okay? That's really what I'm getting at. now. I had a challenge with one of the social channels, uh, Facebook. It did not allow Wi-Fi Entrepreneur uh, to be available to me because they said someone else had it. I didn't find who had it, but they said someone else had it. So with Facebook, I had to go Wi-Fi Entrepreneur 24-7. You know, I don't love that I have to put the 24-7 behind it. However, uh, it is better than nothing. Having the Wi-Fi Entrepreneur in the beginning uh, I thought it was cool because I do Wi-Fi Entrepreneur 24-7. So there you have it. Uh, but you want to make sure that it's available. Also, you'll notice uh, if you have Facebook or YouTube, you'll notice that when you're first setting up those pages, they actually have restrictions where you have to take the random digit name that they give you once you create your group. You can say, yes, this is my page but then the URL that you go and share out is not really a branded URL until you begin to have some growth okay so I know that sometimes when you guys create the page you may see that this is what they give me to share and you start sharing it out forever uh, you may not know to go back and uh, check to see that you can now update it to be your brand so now you can go to facebook.com forward slash Wi-Fi Entrepreneur and you'll find our page where Wi-Fi Entrepreneur is 24-7. You'll find our page, but it once before, uh, let's say for YouTube, for instance, you would go to YouTube.com and it would be forward slash channel and a whole bunch of stuff. It was crazy. Uh, but I had to share it out and that's what I put in a lot of links in the beginning because I wanted to make sure that people knew about the channel. Uh, but once I got some activity on the channel, they allowed me to turn that into youtube.com forward slash channel forward slash Wi Fi Entrepreneur. So, not trying to hop on Wi Fi Entrepreneur, not trying to get that stuck in your brain. However, I am trying to share with you some of the processes that I went through in order to create the brand and some of the things that you're going to want to consider as well. 
I'm going to leave a link below to some of the additional things that you may want to consider when creating your brand name. Uh, so if you haven't already done so or if you feel that you've created a brand already, like I said, I've created hundreds of them. This is the one that now I've absorbed uh, into Hoop My Bing that I now do it 24-7. Uh, but uh, you want to make sure maybe go check out the blog see whether or not your brands that you've created uh, fit this list okay that we talk about here to see whether or not it matches and you know it's nothing to create a new domain name It's free to create a social media profile but you want to make sure you have something that's going to stick long term so that's the most important thing okay so I'm going to leave it there if you guys know anyone who's interested in turning their passion and profit and making money online please tell them about our online community we have over a million people inside of it uh, all supporting each other to help each other succeed with creating an online business we want to help you too so please by all means Make sure you uh, check out the information below. And until we talk again, take care and be blessed. Peace.